Hey, my lovelies, welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're tuning in via Instagram, welcome. If you're tuning in via YouTube, welcome. Okay, so my name is Kamoy, and what I do here is we're tapping into the daily vibrations, okay? So I am a certified Reiki energy healer, okay? And I do talk about your chakra systems, and I use the tarot cards to tap into your energetic field, okay? So whether you're on your spiritual ascension, if you just need some spiritual enlightenment, if you need some encouragement, some motivation, if you're into signs and symbols, numerology, astrology, um, or if you just feel like there's some shit going on and you can't quite put your finger on it, you may be able to find something here, okay? Now, keep in mind that energy is fluid, which means I can say that this is your energy, but it could be the energy that you're interacting with, okay? Um, the daily vibrations are done by breaking down the four elements because you are not just responsible for mastering your sun sign, aka the month that you were born in, okay? You are also responsible for mastering all 12 aspects of the zodiac wheel okay uh because they're all 12 aspects of your psyche okay so we're in scorpio season this is transformation month okay we're gonna tap into the wonderful water element starting off with scorpio's energy pisces energy as well as the wonderful wonderful cancer's energy if you are not a water sign you can apply the water energy to your emotions your feelings okay these are things you're going to have to tap into because whoever controls you emotionally or controls what you feel, what you think, and what you do, okay? Yeah. Whoever controls emotionally controls what you feel, what you think, and what you do, okay? All right, so today the message from my wonderful water elements as well as a water sign is pay attention to what you are serving, okay, energy-wise, all right? This is sacral chakra energy. This is... um codependency this is addiction okay i'm um, not just um addicted to um substance this could be sexual addiction this can be addicting to shopping this can be hoarding okay this energy also deals with the relationship that you have with others okay um not not just the relationships but the changes that needs to happen within those relationships you can also find karmic patterns happening here as to why you keep attracting the same type of people the same type of relationship the same type of men the same type of women right all of that lies within your sacral chakra now today is asking you my love what are you servicing who are you giving your energy to especially your energy when it comes to abundance okay maybe how you make money how you spend money how you feel about money right you can look at things from a potential of lack like woe is me or you can look from things of a potential of that you can tap into your resources at any time okay now Pay attention to what you speak up into the atmosphere because if you speak, I don't have, then guess what's going to happen, honey? You're not going to have, okay? As a man, say it, speak it, and think it. So it is, okay? Who are you giving your service to as far as abundance is concerned and what are you isolating yourself from? Okay, now you can't really see this in the camera, but on this little tag right here, it says imagination. Okay, you may need to use your imagination today to be able to create abundance in your experience. Okay, so when it's asking you what are you servicing, really, what are you giving your energy to as far as your money is concerned, as far as, far as what's making your life more abundant? Okay, maybe even who you're giving your time and your attention to is going to be key, right? Um, for some of you, this could be that you're giving your service and your time to someone that keeps you isolated isolated from the people that you love now those are the types of relationships that you definitely want to be mindful for okay now this can also be some of you giving your time and your attention to negative feelings to negative people okay as well as to negative loops in your mind all right pay attention my loves okay some of you may be going through some grief uh you need to deal with that if you if you're going through any type of grief and this does not necessarily have to do with someone um dying um this could be with all of the chaos that's happening in the world right now this could be grief about losing your job this could be grief about having to move out of a home that you've had for such a long time all right some of you are going through an impasse right now now with this impasse I want to say um, emotional communication with self is going to be key. You're going to have to check in with key. You're going to have to tap in with key and make sure that I'm um, tapping with self and make sure that you're not operating from a place of emotional woes versus emotional strength. Okay. Um, one of the things that spirit has been telling me in meditation is that I really have to get back into the aspect of teaching people um, emotional and mental well-being. Right. A lot of people is going through things, but they don't know how to emotionally and mentally flip a switch so they can find 
find themselves back in a place of wholeness, okay? Um, and, and, and then everything just starts spinning. We've been talking about the spinning energy from since the top of the year. And, you know, like if you go back to the videos from January, we talked about this. We talked that we were, we talked about coming into this energy right now. We talked about even the lockdown coming back. Like we talked about all of this, right? So zero reset point this is we've been in zero reset point from since we entered 2020 all right this is not the time for you to step back right this is the time for you to make choices and decisions and not give your attention and your energy away emotionally to anything that's not serving your highest and greatest good okay it's kind of like knowing that you have a baby that's throwing a temper tantrum and then every time they throw a temper tantrum, they get you to pay attention to them so they get actually get what they need, okay? Sometimes when your baby is having a temper tantrum, you have to pretend, um, you know, like you don't even see them, okay? All right. We're going to jump into the wonderful ear energy, which is going to be Gemini. It is going to be Aquarius as well as Libras, okay? If you are not a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra, you can apply this message to your thinking. This is going to be your spiritual and your mental thinking. This is the things that's on your mind, okay? So you want to be mindful of that as we are moving through this message. Okay, third eye chakra. Your perception is going to be key today. Balance that, how you see a thing, okay? You can, let me tell y'all something, okay? And confusion is popping up with crown chakra. So, yeah, you got your third eye and you got your crown chakra, higher chakra's energy. Let me just tell you guys something right now, okay? You can literally change your world based on how you think of a situation, okay? So bring your thoughts into balance. Your perception of a thing can determine the outcome of that thing. Let me say that again because y'all are ear signs, okay? The perception of how you see a thing can determine the outcome of that thing, okay? So you may have to literally bring your thoughts into balance as you're moving throughout this day, all right? You got the balance card, third eye chakra, your perception. You got the crown chakra, pure information coming in from source. This is your intuitive nature. This is your instincts. Call it whatever you want. This is just that knowing that you know that you know that you know. Okay, that's popping off there, all right? This confusion card, if you look at it, she's not really confused because she got like a guide whispering in her ear. Okay, so if you get silent enough and balance yourself today, you can land into a world of discovery root chakra and that can ground you today. Right. You don't got to get stuck in the fear or in the trickery. You don't. All right. Get out your own way. Stop listening to people. Okay. Trust your heart. Not everybody else's. Okay. Trust yours. Okay. Get out of your own way. All right. You also may need to pull your head out of the sand to bring balance today and take responsibility for your own things. Okay. Um, or even your own mental thoughts, right? You definitely may need to bring some things into completion today. Let the dead bury the dead. Like, honey, listen. If you know you've worked on something and you just had a conversation with somebody and they keep trying to bring you back to a place that you know you no longer, right? Let the dead bury the dead. Don't operate in this trickery today. Not because you love somebody means that they keep getting to pull you back in some old shit, okay? You need to know that, all right? Balance yourself today. Change your perception of this, okay? You do not have to be confused. You can trust your intuition, okay? Um, as it leads you on a wonderful discovery of self. Not everybody else, but self, all right? Okay, so now let's jump over into the wonderful, wonderful fire energy. Fire energy is going to be Leo. It is also going to be Aries, and it's going to be the wonderful, wonderful Sagittarius, okay? If you are not a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, you can apply this energy, my love, to action that may need to happen in your life. This is movement energy. This is intuitive energy, but it can also be passionate or lustful energy. So apply that energy where you need it to be, okay? Let's go. All right, so we got discovery, root chakra energy, what's grounding you. This is your foundation, how you build relationships with people, with family, relationships with money. This is your flight or fight mode, okay? Um, and the same, be open for discovery today, especially if you're going through a place of um, where complacency is. Where are the places in your life that you feel you're complacent? You may need to pay attention to that, today to that, okay? Mm-hmm. Despondent. Yeah, listen. Y'all got a lot going on where you need to stop giving your energy to people and to things that are not serving you. Trust your intuition as you're moving out the day, okay? People are always going to try to pull you into their loop of spinning negativity. It's going to be up to you today to discern, right, who or what is making you complacent and what is keeping you stuck. Deal with your insecurities today. A lot of root chakra energy going on today, my wonderful fire signs, which you don't want to do, okay? 
What you don't want to do, my love, is to use that lower vibrational energy and to tap into ple other people's shit today. Or maybe even the, the things that you fear today that may keep you stuck up. Uh, yeah. Don't tap into rejection today, okay? Don't tap into rejection today. Your model needs to be today, rejection is protection. Not everything you rejected from means that it, um, it was for you, okay? Rejection in this season, honey... It's protection. Please understand that, okay? Figure out what you're complacent on today. Go into a world of discovery today. Who you giving your energy to? Who you giving your time to? All right? Then you want to figure out, once you figure out who you're giving your energy and who you're giving your time to and what's making you complacent, you want to figure out what is your insecurities there? What are you afraid of? What is making you feel insecure? What is making you feel unworthy? What is making you feel angry? What is making you feel jealous, right? Go through all of that stuff, right? And then get to a place where you understand rejection does not mean anything more than protection, honey. Sometimes you be trying to run through some stuff and the universe is trying to save your ass for some stuff, okay? All right, okay, so we're going to jump into the wonderful, wonderful earth energy, Capricorns, Virgos, and the wonderful Taurus, okay? If you are not a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, you can apply this energy to the physical realm. The house, the car, the bills, the job, the husband, the children, um, what else? The parents, okay? The bills, okay? Now, let me just let you know, I tried to put this back in the deck and it came out twice. Complacency. So, you got fire energy telling you to pay attention to what's making you complacent, and you got earth energy saying pay attention to that complacency too right especially when it comes to how you create and how you make money okay what's making you feel low what's making you feel stuck what make you, what makes you feel like you, you you're in a rut okay especially when it comes to do with money you're gonna have to watch that if your ego is involved in anyhow you need to know that confusion does not necessarily mean confusion today you can be gaining clarity but you will have to get silent for this clarity to come in all right and you're gonna have to be honest with yourself okay you're gonna have to man and own your shit all right man and own your shit all right that's going to be important okay all right yep you got joy popping up and i feel like once you figure out what's making you complacent and you figure out how you're aligning that up especially with your creative aspect or maybe how you pay the bills or how you fix the physical problems you will find clarity coming in today and it is going to take you back to a place of joy now i want to say that this energy is dominant today which is solar plexus energy and this energy rules your free will and um your ego your ego is always going to set limitations. Your free will is always going, always going to let you know that it's an, a, a limitless universe. There is no limits in this universe, right? However, your solar plexus also deals with your self-confidence. This deals with you being able to um, discipline yourself. This deals with self-mastery. This is deal with all aspects of you being able to, um, I want to say, operate with integrity even when no one is watching. This deals with you having to own your shit, okay? Um, and maybe not throw temper tantrums because you can't get your own way okay or to be too judgmental because everybody does not view things the way that you view them okay now with that being said find out what you're complacent to today especially when it comes to what and how you make money and how you pay the bills okay there's clarity coming in for you today if you're paying attention you can trust your instant your instincts and that is going to lead you towards some type of joyful experience you know uh now let me tell y'all something right now you know you read the energy in the cards, and then sometimes you may not have the necessary experience, right? But there's always some prerequisites required for you to experience some shit, right? Energy is a constant interchangeable experience. You're going to have to exchange something to get something. There got to be a ebb, you know, ebb and flow, a give and take, an up and down. There's always an opposite or duality in this realm. So to think that you're going to experience something different and not have to exchange out the old... I don't know what to tell y'all, okay? You're not going to be able to get to the other side without doing some work. That is not how this is. You are not going to be able to be emotionally well and mental well without you having to do the work, all right? All right, with that being said, okay, remember to do something kind for yourself, my love. Love yourself, honor yourself, okay? Um, out of darkness comes enlightenment. Like, it really, if you are really serious about it, it does happen, okay? All right, and you want to go ahead and get your peace so you can get back to a place of wholeness, all right? I'm going to see y'all in um, tomorrow's Saturday. So I'm going to see y'all in tomorrow's Daily Vibration, okay? Have a wonderful, wonderful day, guys. Bye.